How does it feel to have dyslexia? Uh, sometimes we write like words backwards. All right, I have a confession. I'm a super nerd. I catch the flyer fly. A flyer fly? Uh -huh. Go get another one. <laughs> I need a bio mirrors. That that's my toothbrush. I should just just get wild. You're just gonna borrow it? Mm -hmm. That's kind of gross. That's not how toothbrushes work. Yeah, can it get it? I can get another one. No, what? Let's get your toothbrush. Oh man, so I've been in kind of a goofy mood this morning, and I was beatboxing while they were eating. You know, but Isaac came up with his own version of beatboxing. What do you call it? Burp beatboxing. It's kind of gross. Let's hear it. <laughs> it was a to get spit. <laughs> okay, we gotta hear more. Burp beatboxing. <laughs> <laughs> Burp beatboxing. Ew. It's a thing. We'll have to have you show Travis this. Travis, my brother who just moved here that is living here now. He's coming to pick something up in a second, but he actually is a beatboxer or he did it for an acapella group and he's really good. <laughs> What's in here? Oh! <laughs> School is starting over here tomorrow, so we're getting really excited about it, but Elise and I have actually started her reading program about a week ago. We just kind of wanted to get into the groove for it, and I'm really excited about her reading program that she has this year, because this summer Elise was assessed and found to have dyslexia. So Miss Elise, how does it feel to have dyslexia? Uh, sometimes we write like words backwards and letters well, numbers and letters mm -hmm. backwards. And my dad has dyslexia too, so that's, I think that's how I have dyslexia. Yeah. So, yeah. Is it hard or easy to have dyslexia? Hard. Yeah, what's hard about it? Uh, it's hard to learn how to read. Yeah. yeah. Do you have to work extra hard? Mm-hmm. We studied a lot and I read a lot this summer about the gifts of dyslexia, kind of some of the special talent areas that they've been found to have. And Jeremy does have dyslexia and it's interesting to see, you know, how he's able to think out of the box and be really creative and he's very spatially oriented. I see so many of those same gifts in Elise where she's very artistic and creative and fun and she's so smart. So for spelling today, we're going to write the words in the shaving cream. Uh -huh. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm so excited. Well, we did the spelling words and now she's just playing with it and it's fun. It's fun to like break up the routine of school and do all these different like multi-sensory things. Now Caleb wants a turn with the shaving cream. How's it feel? Nice and just the right heat. Hmm. My buddy and I Dropped off the kids at piano and now we are headed in to grab a few things from the grocery store because we're having some friends over tonight and I'm really excited. I think I've said that a lot today. Must be a good day. Anyway, as I was saying, we have some friends coming over tonight and so I wanted to stop at the store and get some stuff for dinner. What's funny with this pregnancy is I find a food that I like and I crave it for like several days. So we actually had spaghetti for dinner last night and Jeremy and I have been talking all day about what we should make and you know, what sounded good? And I was like, honestly, I just want spaghetti again. So we're making spaghetti again. Luckily, like we didn't feed it to the same friends last night. So I'm just picking up stuff for more spaghetti and some garlic bread and a fun dessert. So I'm gonna get my favorite bread. It's called an Asiago cheese bread. Somebody's just relaxing. It was not uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Oh, is it uncomfortable? Maybe. All right, we're gonna get a dessert too, and I'm in the frozen dessert section trying to choose. I think I wanna do like a yummy frozen pie. Here's some of the choices. I love this brand, but which kind should I get? Key lime, cookies and cream, turtle, or cream chocolate? Ooh. Caleb, what kind do you think we should get? The chocolate one we normally have. 
Well, it feels really good to be feeling better because I'm just so excited to host people for dinner tonight. We love having people over and cooking for people. And I mean, it's a really simple meal, just spaghetti and some bread and stuff, but it feels really good to be feeling better. I'm officially finishing up my 12th week of pregnancy. Like that's amazing. I can't believe I'm that far along and you know, I'm just really grateful to be feeling better. There he is. He's pretty serious. He's mowing the lawn. So we keep moving the trampoline because wherever it lives for like the week or two between mowings, it kind of, the grass there starts dying. So we just like migrated across the lawn and hopefully that'll work out. The kids are loving having the trampoline though. Here he comes again. Laura, did you get jewelry on? <laughs> you look so pretty. All right, I have a confession. I'm a super nerd. So I don't normally watch a lot of TV or Netflix videos or stuff just because I feel like I don't have enough time. But I just finished an over 12 hour podcast all about World War I. That's how big of a nerd I am. And I loved it. It's a podcast called Hardcore History. And I listened to it every time I did dishes or had to drive somewhere or was cleaning up around the house. I listened to it every day. I was just amazed how much I didn't know about World War I and hearing the journal entries and seeing the big picture of all the events that were going on. I just love it. So poll question, do you like history? Do you like learning about things that happened hundreds of years ago or hundred years ago? Let me know in the poll. Do you like history? Right now though, I'm trying to get Laura off the trampoline to come in for dinner and she doesn't want to come. And she's just cracking me up. Come on, Laura. Oh, come on, let's go. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh, I almost had you. I almost got, I'm gonna get you. Oh. That's a pole, you don't want to run into it. It hurts. Hmm. Hmm. Get your little sassy attitude over here. Come on. I'm gonna get you. Oh. I just got Laura to come down. This is a big deal. So the reason I love history is I feel like it is a roadmap for us to learn today from lessons in the past and I just soak it up. All right, so as usual, the adults are in here and we have the kids all out, out back. But we're really excited. We have Ashley and Mike Costa with us. Yes, hello. <laughs> and we have the Drews with us, Woo! Julie and Landon. And we we're loving dessert. <laughs> yeah, so we're having a great time. Are you having so much fun playing with friends? I guess so. Cupcake? Yeah! Alright. Do you want some pie? Look, this is a French silk pie. This is my favorite kind of pie. So Laura came running up to the table and said, Dad, it's a sunset. It's a sunset. And it is a beautiful sunset tonight. What are you doing, bud, with no shirt? Just wrestling. Two boys took off their shirt. Oh, that's just what everyone else is doing? Gonna get moved out and duke it out? Not everyone. Yeah, it's just because we're getting sweaty. Okay. Who's your wrestling partner? Um, nobody. We all are just wrestling. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, he's on your... <laughs> here it is up here, Elise. Watch. I catch the firefly. A firefly? Uh -huh. Go get another one. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I did catch it. I saw it. It was in your hand. We Ashley caught a firefly. On me. Well, that was very brave of you. Very brave of you. I know. That's how I Caleb, feel. do you have one? He does. His is glowing. How come Ash, how come yours is glowing? Because my screen scared it. Yeah. Oh, it's glowing in there. Yeah. Oh, good job, dude. I caught one. Whoa! Isn't that cool? Cubby, what are you doing in Oh, I 
I got oh, it, I got he's it. He's still glowing. Well, Caleb and I just had a really sweet conversation. You know, he was really attached to his lightning bug in his little cup and he was so sad and did not want to let it go. But then I said, Caleb, how would you feel? Like, what about this lightning bug's family? Like, what if they're missing him? And he just got like really sweet and tender hearted. And he's like, okay, I'll miss the bug, but I want it to be with his family. And then he went outside and he was really sad to let it go. So what did you decide to do? Let's let it go. Is it gonna get to go be with its family? Yeah. He has such a big and tender heart. Like Caleb is just so loving. And so it was sweet to see him just thinking about the bug instead of himself and letting it go. I love you, bug. Good night. Jay House out.